everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the best brownies you'll sink your teeth into. Stay tuned because we're sharing our best tips for moist, fudgy brownies. You'll impress everyone. Let's get started. We'll start with some quick prep. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then butter and line a nine by nine inch baking pan. Lining with parchment paper will make it so much easier to remove the brownies from the pan later. Now place a medium saucepan over low heat and melt in two sticks or 16 tablespoons of unsalted butter with two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Reserve the remaining one half cup of chocolate chips for later. Continue stirring until everything is melted together and completely smooth. Then take that chocolate sauce off the heat and let it cool for 15 minutes. You'll want that mixture to be just warm and not hot. Now in a large mixing bowl, add four large eggs and these can be chilled right out of the refrigerator. No need to bring them to room temperature. Add one and a fourth cups of granulated sugar. Here's the secret ingredient. Add one tablespoon of instant coffee granules. You can't taste the coffee, but it really amps up the flavor of the chocolate. Now add three tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Whisk that together until it's really well combined. Now our chocolate mixture has been cooling for about 15 minutes and it's no longer hot. So we're gonna pour the chocolate mixture into the egg mixture. Now I do set a timer for this chocolate mixture. You wanna make sure it's not too hot and also not too cold or it will be difficult to blend in. Now whisk those together until the mixture is smooth and well combined. Oh yeah, this is getting good, but it's just gonna get better, so stay tuned. In a second medium bowl, whisk together two thirds cup of all purpose flour, one half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk those together thoroughly, then add the dry ingredients to your chocolate mixture. Now I know there's not a ton of flour in this recipe, but the results are incredibly fudgy and the texture will amaze you. Use a spatula to fold the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients until it's completely smooth and you don't see any streaks of cocoa. Then stop mixing because you don't want to overmix this batter. Once the dry ingredients are fully incorporated, transfer that to your prepared pan. The batter will be thick and look like chocolate lava. Oh, I can look at this all day. Once you've scraped out every last drop of that delicious batter, lightly smooth out the top. Now we'll need that one half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips that we reserved earlier. You can skip the chocolate chips on top if you wanna cut down the sugar a bit, but keep in mind, these brownies don't have any kind of glaze or frosting, so adding the chocolate chips is a nice way to decorate the top. It's just an easy way to make this look fancy. Once the chocolate chips are on, gently pat them down with your hand. Now we're gonna bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit on the center rack for 35 to 40 minutes. At 35 minutes, you'll have a super fudgy brownie. At 40 minutes, you'll still have a very moist brownie. I like them right in between at 37 minutes. And when you poke a toothpick into the center of the brownies, it'll come out with a little bit of moist crumbs attached. The most important thing to remember for fudgy brownies is do not overbake. Once these are out of the oven, let them cool in the pan until they're nearly at room temperature. Giving those fudgy centers time to cool will make them much easier to slice later. <laughs> All right, it is time for the taste test. I've been patient enough 
It's still warm, but we're just gonna do this because I want my brownies. <laughs> okay, first of all, loosen up the edges that don't have parchment paper just so it comes out easier. You can use a little knife or a spatula. Okay, now watch how easy this is to remove. Remember we lined it with parchment paper? Check this out. Boom. <laughs> I like to take it out before slicing, that way I don't destroy my pan and scratch it up. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It is, admit it. <laughs> oh, okay. And the trick to a clean cut in a brownie is to wipe the knife with a paper towel, just like you would with a cake or a cheesecake, with every slice, okay? And then also, you'll get a cleaner cut if you let it cool down to room temperature. Okay, so here we go, because I cannot wait any longer. <laughs> We're gonna make big slices because we like to be generous with our brownies. Oh yeah. Things are getting real. <laughs> mm. Okay, look at this. So fudgy and moist and decadent and just completely delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna plate this. If you like a drier brownie, which I don't know anyone that does, but you can bake it a little longer. <laughs> Oh, we forgot the ice cream and we need ice cream. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Is there anybody else that totally loves a brand new tub of ice cream? Oh, it just scoops so easily. It's like this velvety texture. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is the moment I have been waiting for. I like serving the ice cream right over the top. And if it's still a little bit warm, that ice cream starts to melt over the brownie and <laughs> just like it's doing right now. <laughs> Yum, okay, here we go. Get a little bit of both. Ice cream just has a way of balancing a brownie. <laughs> it's just an excuse to eat ice cream, I guess. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow, that is decadent. So fudgy, so chocolatey without being overly sweet. And absolutely that ice cream cuts through the brownie in just the right way. It is a match made in heaven. <laughs> so good. The other thing I love about these brownies is they stay really soft for days after they're baked. So delicious, they don't get dry. They are just wonderful. Mm. And I love how that coffee really amps up the flavor of the chocolate. You can't taste it in there, but it is so delicious. And there's two youngsters that really wanna get in on this taste test, so let's get them over here. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. All right, here's your forks. <laughs> She, of course, she made a surprise entry here. Let me get you some. Boom. Here, try that. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do I get the two thumbs? Ooh. Do I get the two thumbs? How's it taste? Woo! <laughs> you like it? I have my own brownie. Yeah? Okay, you can have your own brownie. I got a whole bunch of brownies. <laughs> oh, and that's a wrap. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> she wants her own brownie. Big piece. Big piece? Which one's the big piece? They're all big. Okay, this one. Which one? That one? Okay. All right. I'd like some ice cream on top. These are gonna disappear fast. <laughs> Always. But you'll be happy if you have leftovers. I'm telling you, they're just as good the next day. Okay, big scoops, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you next time. <laughs>